mammoth site in Hot Springs, South Dakota is an incredible, fully active paleontology dig site full of ancient bones from creatures lured to their death by the promise of a good meal. Their last supper, you might say. And uh, there's a mandible, another big tusk, another tusk, another tusk, another tusk. And you can see that these things are everywhere. This is a jackpot. In fact, it's unique not only in the United States, but in the world. It's just a natural hydrologic geologic trap. A sinkhole like uh, the roof of Jewel Cave collapsing. And then we're on the southern end of the Black Hills, so there's lots of thermal groundwater. It came up through this opening and filled this sinkhole with a pond about 95 degrees. Around the edge of that pond in the wintertime, you're going to have vegetation growing. This site was the first time that we actually had proof of behavioral pattern. This site was selective for behavior of young male mammoths. From age 12 to 30, they've got hormone flow and no guidance. They're left on their own as, as individuals or as small groups. And they experiment and they get into trouble. And in this case, it was a fatal experiment. My theory is that these animals, which are all young males between the ages of 12 and 29, with a couple of exceptions, had a choice to scoop off the first snow of winter and get last year's dead grass, or to come in where they see this salad bar growing around this water, and they come in for the salad bar, and it's a one-way trip, they can't get back out. And once you're in, you're in. Either die of starvation or of exhaustion, Can you show me how this creature's laid out you here? You bet. Okay. Let's uh, start up here with his skull. Here's his neck vertebra, his cervical vertebra. Okay. There's his... So his head's facing down here. Yeah. Okay. And, and that was displaced. Right. Totally. Here's his right shoulder blade, his right humerus or upper arm bone. Okay. And over here's a radius ulna. And down just behind where you were standing a minute ago is another radius ulna. Here's the other shoulder blade here beneath that radius and ulna. Then you can see the rib cage is pretty much uh, intact. Like you say, the vertebral column going down through the middle. And there's the pelvis, and we still have two femurs attached to it. Bones, 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 bones. It's like a junkyard of old rusty mammoth remains. How many mammoths do you have in this site? As of uh, the end of July, 59. So you're always uncovering <clears throat> more and always more. more. Larry explained, this is like a three-dimensional puzzle. When they excavate somewhere, there's always something they find underneath. So anytime you move anything, boom, you got a whole new project. Sure, a whole nother puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. Any work at all might expose a new and exciting find, like evidence of mammoth footprints in the mud. Wow, that is incredible. Once you figure that out, all of a sudden it's like, wow, you need something else to look for. What type of mammoths are in this area? Because I, I know there's a couple of species, but what have you guys uncovered? Okay, these are 99% Colombian mammoth, the temperate zone mammoth. When you say mammoth, everybody thinks of woolies, but uh, partly that's due to artists. You can paint a bunch of hair and stick some eyeballs in a, and a, a tusk in it, and everybody recognizes it as a mammoth. I was curious if scientists had discovered the cause of the extinction of the mammoths yet. There's a... Uh, about four major extinction theories. There's overhunting, there is um, climate change, and uh, then there was a hyper disease theory, and then there was a bolide or a comet that hit the ice sheet, and caused continental fires, and wiped out all the mammoths and other big fauna. I think any of those by themselves are too simple. I think there's gonna be a combination of factors, but I do know for a fact, I've worked on three mammoth kill sites that people were hunting, killing, and consuming them. So I know that humans had a hand in it. I cannot believe that these are actual existing structures that they built out of the bones. Larry showed me a display of an Eastern European replica dwelling from 26,000 years ago. There would be whole villages of these structures. Seeing their building materials really helped to understand the extinction of the mammoths. What would it have taken to take an animal like this down? Um, it would take an, either a really brave, a really fast, or a really stupid guy to try to take an animal like that one. And uh, what they do is they go for the rib cage, try to get the lungs or any of the vital organs, and bring them down. The lab was a better place for me to get a clear understanding of an attack of this mammoth creature. They would have used just bunches of these 
to take down a what, mammoth? What you have is a spear thrower that locks onto this and gives you more mechanical advantage. But this is all they're using to yep. take them down. Yep. That just seems incredible. Yep. As big as and that the creature smaller is. The smaller the point, the greater the penetration. And That's how big is this guy? He's about 14 feet at the shoulder. And this one probably go 10 or 11 tons. Wow. And you can see he's got some pretty big tusks, but again, they don't over curve. They're like two big bananas sticking out of his face. Tusks swinging like giant baseball bats at you as you try to get in a good shot. Those are about uh, eight footers. Wow. And realize there's another foot still in the alveolus. Ah, uh, that's right. Oh, the amount of interesting information and history available at the Mama site is incredible. They're continually learning more about this and other creatures all the time. Their work is helping to uncover how they lived, reasons for their demise, and how we and our world have become what we are today. I toured the lab to understand how they process their precious findings to preserve them for visitors to see and what they do to share their findings and information with the world. It's truly an incredible facility. If you're looking for a place to enlighten your mind or just want to see something unusual and historic, consider a visit to the Mammoth site. You will be amazed. For more information on Life to the Max, go to our website at lifetothemax.tv.